New developments and allegations of threats following a neo-Nazi demonstration and altercation in downtown Nashville Sunday. Thank you for joining us for News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. Now, according to Metro Police, a neo-Nazi protester from Canada was arrested for felony aggravated assault and accused of striking a person with a flagpole holding the Nazi flag. A 19-year-old employee of one of the local bars also arrested for disorderly conduct. Andy Cordan has been investigating the latest and joins us with pictures you're seeing first on two. Andy. Hey there, Mark. You know, the owner of a major security company that provides security to many downtown bars tells me that his clients and his organization have been receiving threats after the violent protests last weekend. These are images from Sunday on Third Avenue that reportedly show a confrontation outside Johnny Cash's bar. This group of protesters assaulted staff and were inciting violence to different people along the way as they were marching down 3rd Avenue. Solarin Risk Management CEO Jack Bird provides security for the business and employs security personnel who he says were on the streets during this neo-Nazi confrontation. They took pictures mainly to try to identify the people that were involved in the instance because it was it was instance of them throwing things it was instance of them threatening people i mean it was and it wasn't just physical or verbal threats it was physical threats of violence i mean they would run up they would get in people's faces they would act like they were going to strike them i mean it, it was a lot that it had everyone on edge according to bird in this picture you can see a protester holding what appears to be a flagpole that's attached to a nazi flag we were the buffer between business owners and this protest bird tells me business owners and others that he represents have received threats yes several business owners are receiving threats individuals are receiving threats and it, it's not just threats of, of violence but it's threats to destroy your business to harm your family your reputation i mean it's an all-out assault. Bird also tells News 2 that because of the alleged threats, he's filed this report with state officials. It's emails, it's text messages, it's pamphlets, it's also their presence whenever they show up and then threaten staff. Our staff, some, some people don't want to go to work. A lot of our staff, are, we've had to up staff security at most of our locations right now. Up staff, what does that mean? That means we've increased our coverage. We've added staff members to shifts specifically until this was over. Have you been the subject of any threats from this group? So I personally have not been. News 2 also speaks with Councilman Jacob Coupin, whose district includes downtown where this alleged altercation takes place. We're not going to let these losers define us and take up space in our heads. We're going to we're going to send the message of who Nashville really is. Coupin tells me members of this group came to a city council meeting on Tuesday night and things quickly became uncomfortable. What I witnessed in our in our chambers was not First Amendment expression. It was it was harassment and intimidation. When you're following someone around, you've got a camera in their face and you're throwing throwing barbs at them. To me, that's not a First Amendment expression. That's harassment. Now, now Jack Bird tells me that the neo-Nazi group is still in this area, and the council person also tells me there is a unity march planned for Sunday at Bicentennial Mall. Send it back to you, Mark. All right, Andy, thank you. Now, according to Metro DA's office, Ryan McCann is facing two charges. His bond, $51,000. Now, it was $81,000, but Hayslip says against the strong recommendation of the DA's office, Judge Marcus Floyd reduced it. The judge also imposed conditions, including forfeiting his passport. He also has to wear a GPS ankle monitor prior to any release from detention and remain away from the victim or the location of that incident.